Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Retail Archaeology. In this episode we'll be taking a look at Macy's, a 159 year old department store chain that has recently started to struggle. And we'll be taking a look at two locations in this episode. The first location here is located at the Park Place Mall in Tucson, Arizona. Make the right move. Fashion that's hot, nothing that's not. The right move is Macy's Young Men's Action Shop and Juniors. From what it sounds like, Macy's has not been making the right moves, but we'll get into that in a minute. First, let's talk about this store specifically. So, this was originally a Broadway store. But uh, Macy's purchased those stores a while back, and this store was converted to a Macy's. And I love this uh, confetti carpet. At first I thought there was like stuff on the floor, but nope, it's, it's a pattern on the carpet. That was something I really liked about this store, was that there was a lot of different carpet prints and a lot of different types of tile. And also I love those air diffusers up in the ceiling. They look like little miniature versions of the Kmart ones. So in January of 2015, Macy's started announcing store closures. They announced they were going to be closing 14 stores. And then by September of 2015, they announced they would be closing another 35 to 40 stores. And then in September of 2016, they announced they got to close another 100 stores. So things are obviously not going well for Macy's. And that's unfortunate because I really do like their stores. Now this was a three level Macy's and we're up here on the top level and I love the wood flooring on this level. That goes back to the different types of flooring that I was talking about. That's probably pretty old and I like that a lot. Now that wall there in front of us is like a temporary wall that they've put up. They're not utilizing all of the floor space that they have up here on the top level. And we'll just take a peek in here so you can see what I'm talking about. That's uh, former retail floor space that they're not using anymore. And you can see that really cool wood flooring continues all the way through there. And I'm going to shut up about the wood flooring now, sorry. <laughs> I like that down sign too, that's really cool. Speaking of down, we'll uh, take a look here. It's all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom. We filmed this location in the early evening on a Saturday in September, so I mean you wouldn't expect it to be super busy, but you would expect to see you know, a fair amount of customers. What we noticed was that the further up we went, the fewer customers we saw in the store. Hey Martha, we haven't seen you since my uh, Kmart video. <laughs> Here's another peek into that uh, back area that's walled off. This is from a door on the other side. Looks like they're just mainly using it for storage now. Go down the escalator here. You know, the other thing is too, it wasn't like this mall wasn't busy. Um, Park Place Mall in Tucson is really busy. As a matter of fact, when we got to this mall um, on that Saturday evening, we were shocked at how busy the mall is. And that's that's actually going to be a different video. Pretty cool floor there as well. 
and uh, here's a shot all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top. This weird little awkward area between the escalators, they had some merchandise kind of thrown here. But uh, yeah, this mall in general is really busy and there will be a video on this mall um, showing you how busy it is and the fact that there are actually busy malls in Tucson, Arizona of all places. So again, it was really shocking that this, this particular Macy's wasn't very busy. It's unfortunate that this particular store wasn't busy either because I really liked it. It was really clean. It had really cool details like all that wood right there. I love that. Um, also all the different types of flooring and even though some of it seemed you know vintage and maybe back from when it was a Broadway um, it was still really nice and well kept and everything you can see everything's laid out nicely just a really nice store in general we liked it Mark kept mentioning how clean the floors were There's a finish line inside the Macy's. That's something I've started to notice is stores within um, department stores like the Sephora stores that are popping up inside JCPenney's and now, you know, finish line inside Macy's and we'll, we'll see another mall regular store inside a Macy's here when we look at the second Macy's location here shortly. It was very bright too, very well lit. All right, let's take a look at our second Macy's location. What towers over Manhattan? Fits into a shopping bag. And is only at Macy's. Snoopy. He's cuddly. He's playful. And he's yours at all Macy's. A $32 value. Yours for just $10.95 with any $50 purchase or more. The second Macy's location we'll take a look at is located at Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall in Scottsdale, Arizona, and this is a very upscale mall. And this is actually a pretty big Macy's as well. Here's a shot of the uh, interior entrances into the Macy's, and I love that huge skylight. And as you can see, this is a fairly busy Macy's. Lots of traffic going in and out of there. Now, this was filmed on a Saturday afternoon in early November. As a matter of fact, the weekend right after Halloween. And they are in full Christmas mode. When we got there, we noticed a loud amount of Christmas music, and we uh, went down this escalator and realized they had a DJ here spinning Christmas tunes. That was pretty interesting. There he is there again. You can see him there to the right. And just Christmas decorations everywhere. We are completely disregarding Thanksgiving at this point. You'll notice some open ceiling space there. It looks like this store is undergoing some minor renovations. And uh, Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall looked like it was undergoing some fairly major renovations. So that was pretty interesting to see. But uh, back on the subject of Macy's, this was a pretty interesting store to look at too. I love the ceilings there, the detail in that. Um, but it was very unfortunate that it was just all Christmas and no Thanksgiving anywhere. Macy's does the Thanksgiving Day Parade every year. I feel like they should have some Thanksgiving Day stuff up and not disregard that holiday. I mean, I love Christmas too. Now, like I mentioned, this was a 
three-story Macy's, and this was a really tiny elevator. <laughs> the elevator's pretty dirty, actually. It's like the tiniest elevator you too. That's it. <laughs> They're hiring. <laughs> the permit's help updated though. That's good. When you pinged your first pawn, you were being prepared for something. When you ate your first power pill, you were being prepared for something far greater. Because those game machines were crude versions of computers. And what you were being prepared for was a real version of a computer, the Commodore VIC-20. Games like you've never seen before. But more important, true computing, the Commodore VIC-20. A real computer for the price of a toy. The Commodore VIC-20 is available at Macy's. Unfortunately, the only gadgets this Macy's seemed to have now were kitchen gadgets. Macy's isn't somewhere that I would think of to go to to buy electronics or a computer nowadays, but it was interesting to know that they carried Commodore computers way back when. Ah, high-end drinking games. Mark sucks. Go professional. Not sure what they mean. Those signs were weird though. Those were all over the place. Here's some like old school like stained marble flooring. Not sure what kind of marble flooring that is with like that reddish stain in it. We didn't notice a lot of people up here though looking at like the beds and the mattresses and stuff. It seemed like most people were concentrated looking at the clothing and apparel and stuff like that. Those areas of this Macy's were very busy. But kind of a similar situation, the higher up we went in the, the store the less busy it was. Man, those mannequins are ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, check out these jackets we found. It's like the Elton John series. Oh my god, there's a sequined one. All right, see how much it is. Put the hold the tag up. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I like taking these shots of the stacks of escalators because when I was a kid and you would look at them like this, they would be full of people going up and down. And uh, now when you look at them at a lot of stores, they're empty like this, which is weird to me. So um, that's why I like to do those shots. And also to get interesting shots of ceilings like that. And there's another store within a store. There's a sunglass hut. Now, you normally see those in the mall. I don't know if we need another one in the Macy's, but there it is. Like I said, just full-blown Christmas mode. I really do like Macy's though, I, I hope they are able to kind of pull out of this slump and I hope they do have a good holiday season this year even if they are completely disregarding Thanksgiving. It was nice to see a department store busy like this. Special thanks to the artists that provided the music for this week's episode of Retail Archaeology. If you enjoyed it, I've got the artist information there on the screen, and I'll also have clickable links down in the description, so be sure to check those out. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash resellarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. 
Hey, thanks again for checking out my video on Macy's, a 159 year old department store chain. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out one of these other ones here, and also uh, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And as always, thanks for watching.